21. In a medical emergency, the Oswego County Health Department would need to take in supplies and distribute them very quickly. It would look a lot like this. But for today's drill, boxes of Samoa's Thin Mints and other Girl Scout cookies stood in for the real thing. To be able to receive them, inventory them, break them down and ship them out as fast as possible. We need 48 Thin Mints. It could be a respirator, it could be antibiotics, it could be medical bandages or other supplies. This is the first year the Girl Scouts and the Health Department have teamed up. In the past, this drill would be done with pieces of paper or empty boxes. And the eight different varieties of Girl Scout cookies are a good substitute for medical supplies that need to be moved in and out quickly. It's an opportunity to see our plans come to life. They always sound good on paper, but to drill it is a great opportunity. Um, and I think using the cookies keeps it a little lighthearted. Sorry, I'm just used to this cart now. The health department gets to test their ability to handle and distribute supplies, and the Girl Scouts get help sorting cookies from local troops. And it's always fun because at the end, you have to make sure that you balance exactly. So, you know, we're always trying to track down that one case, trying to figure out where it went. It's rare to see thin mints handled with such urgency, but both the health department and the Girl Scouts say the drill was good preparation for a future event. You know, people take their cookies seriously. You know, there could be a cookie crisis. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> the distribution doesn't stop here. These cookies will be delivered to homes in Oswego and Mexico over the next few days. For now, reporting from Oswego, I'm Alex Dunbar.